So this is Fordham's drill press and it's uh, very nice, very heavy duty, it's all solid cast iron. The clamps are cast iron. The, uh, the scale you get is a piece of paper, it's a sticker, and it's not even aligned with this little cast iron bump, which it barely works as a indicator. So uh, I replaced that, but I mean, it's, it's pretty heavy duty. This is a solid steel pole, very heavy duty spring. Uh, you get these plastic knobs here, so you can adjust the table. Right here, we'll swing away if you want to use the bottom. Uh, I'd probably get a vise down here and just bolt it in so I always have one. And I can just swing this out of the way and then use the vise without having to mess with it. That way it's always uh, aligned exactly how you want it. And then this upper table, you have to be a little careful because it, there's no locking system here really. you got to manually eyeball it or whatever and then tighten it up. And if you're not careful, you'll hit the table obviously since it swings. Also, you can hit the chuck against the bottom if you go down too far and you're not paying attention. And then you can adjust. I'm not even going to touch this right now because I got it already in and I don't want it to drop down because you can bang the chuck up and this is pretty heavy. But you can swing this out of the way too if you want to use another vise. Like you got a, a ball vise or a pan of vise or something. But you can adjust that. That'll swing also. Anyway, there's these two screws to attach the handpiece. You barely need any tension on it. I mean, not even like a quarter turn, and that'll make it tight enough that it'll stay in place. If you put more pressure on it, it's going to stress this joint here, and I think cast iron doesn't, doesn't really like that bending. Anyway, uh, it'll also slow down the drill because there's pressure on the bearings, and you really don't want to do that. So here I took the paper scale off, and this is a piece of white alum painted aluminum and I just bent it it's like an L shape and then I had a little wing there so I bent it to make this this simple scale so uh, I hot glued the the white aluminum on there and it stays in place real good because I just heated up the aluminum with, on the hot glue iron shot the glue on that and then stuck it in there and then this scale is just an old ruler I was going to use a machinist scale, but uh, this is plenty accurate. I noticed that after actually using this, if you try to push it down more than half a centi half a millimeter, it, the spring has enough tension that it makes it difficult. You can maybe do a third or a quarter, but not reliably. Anyways, you can always just use the gauge to set it and then lock it in. And uh, I would just move the bottom table up to the workpiece and not mess with the drill, moving the drill. But uh, that works really nicely. So as you can see, it's super accurate. I mean, I've never seen a drill press that's quite that accurate. So I'll, I got this piece of scrap aluminum here. That's what I used to make that L piece. But if I uh, not drill through my hand here, but put that, put that on there, it's gonna go right through every time, no effort. I would suggest getting, for these bits, I would suggest getting uh, like decent quality ones. These are so cheap, these twist bits. I think I got like 20 of them for 10 bucks and these are all uh, I think 8% cobalt. So they're real hard bits. If you use the HSS bits, they'll, I think I got some, yeah, right here. These are the super cheap uh, high speed steel bits. Uh, you get these, I think it's called Microvox, and the case is super big, and I cut it down, but they work too, but they break and they bend. So you can go all the way down. These, this one's got a 0.3 millimeter one, and I chucked it in there. It works. You can drill with it. So if you're doing models or beads or gems or pearls or whatever, you can, I probably wouldn't do a stones with these HSS bits, but it can handle them and it does a perfect job. You might have a little play on the uh, HSS, so if you get a, a little sturdier steel like the cobalt ones, you'll be good. You can also get the, uh, where are those? So you can get the center, center countersunk bits, and they just got a very, very fine point for starting the hole, and then they get progressively larger as they do the countersink, but these ones are a lot easier to hold steady 
because the shank is so big. So you might want to look at that. They work great in here. It's just hard to find a variety of uh, these style bits with the larger shank sometimes. And again, those are those are the cobalt ones. I try not to use the HSS. It's so cheap. This whole pack is like a dollar. I think even the cobalt ones, those are those are not even a buck each. So that's uh, I think that's about it. You do get there's these little locking. This is two nuts. You can lock these to get the depth you want. So. You just go down to where you want it. So say I want five millimeters. I set it to five millimeters because my scale is actually accurate. Get this down to five. There it is. Now every time I go down, it's only going to do five millimeters. So you can drill holes all day. No effort. Very nice. And uh, if you have to take any of this stuff apart. These screws here, they're all threaded. This is threaded into here real nicely. You can take them out without worrying about it stripping. No idea what this little hole here is for, but uh, even the bottom is very nicely finished. As you can see, I think I knocked the shaft off here. Okay. Yeah, uh, you will find that trying to use this thing is uh, a little challenging with the normal hanger. So what I did here is uh, Aim it up here. I've got this crazy stainless steel towel bar holder from Ikea, but it's really sturdy. So what I can do is to keep this from twisting a lot, is just pull out one or two of the bars and just rest the shaft on there. That way it doesn't arc or bend too hard. And then if I want to use it normally, I can just put it into a different position, drop it down or the other way and it takes all the weight off the cord. The bench mount ones are pretty good too, but you just have to raise it up really, really high and I don't want to have to fuss with that. So yeah, that's Fordham's drill press. It's a very good tool.